hello students i am dr anita sharma welcome in my chemistry class today i am going to explain you an important topic of electrochemistry that is transference number or transport number i'll also explain the methods of determination of transport number that is the top method and moving boundary method so let's begin electrochemistry paper 202 in this lecture we will learn transport number hitoff's method and moving boundary method so transport number is the fraction of total current carried by anion or cation is called its transport number and it is represented by t minus or t plus respectively t plus is the transport number of cation and t minus is the transport or transference number of anion suppose absolute speed of po positive and negative ion is u centimeter per second and v centimeter per second u is for positive and v for negative then u and v are the current carried by positive ion and negative ion respectively respectively so the total current carried by anion and cation should be equal to u plus v hence the fraction of current carried by cation is equal to t plus this is transference number of cation is equal to u is the fraction of total current carried by cation upon total current u plus v in the same way transference number of anion that is t negative should be equal to the fraction of current carried by anion upon total current that is u plus v so the sum of transport number or transference number should be one or unity because fraction of total current carried by plus uh, positive ion and fraction of total current carried by negative ion so total current should be equal to 1 with increase of concentration transport number decreases effect of temperature on transport number or transference number also we have to learn so if the transport number more than 0.5 then it decreases with increasing temperature if the transport number is less than 0.5 then it increases till it approaches 0.5 so one more time we will summarize transport number so transport number of cation that is t plus is equal to current carried by cation upon total current transport number of cation you can show here as u upon u plus v here u is the fraction of total current carried by cation and here it is the total current in the same way you can determine transport number of anion also so in case of transport number of anion current carried by anion upon total current so there are two methods for the determination of transport number here you can see one more time here this is the transference number of cation and this is the transference number or transport number of anion the fraction of total current carried by ions is directly proportional to their velocities this is hitoff's rule t plus t minus is equal to 1 so determination of transport number we have to start there are two methods for the determination of transport number first is hitoff method and second is moving boundary method so this moving boundary method is frequently asked question in gu exams so first we will start with hitoff method and hitoff method is based on relative speed of ions during electrolysis so in this method let us consider an electrolytic vessel containing two metal electrodes this is cathode and this is anode and this vessel is divided into three compartment first compartment this is bd is called cathodic compartment dc is called central compartment and ca is called anodic compartment so in this method you can see this is the first condition when we have not started electrolysis this first no electro uh, no ions are moving now in second condition when we apply potential so two cations here you can see are moving towards the cathode and two anions are moving towards the anode here in third condition when four cations are moving towards the cathode and four anions will move towards the anode and here also you can see so in short 
I have explained this method only here. So even if only cations are moving, the same number of cations and anions will be discharged at respective electrodes. So relate it is based on relative uh, relative speed of ions, but if only cations are moving then also respective or same number of anions also will be discharged at respective electrode this is hitoff method so according to hitoff rule it is based on the fact during electrolysis though loss in amount of electrolyte around any electrode is proportional to the speed of ion moving away from it so here loss of uh, loss around cathode should be equal to speed of anion moving towards it La uh, moving far from it loss of loss around anode speed of cation so v upon u because we know this is speed of anion this is speed of cation adding one both side will get this equation and when we solve this equation we'll get this loss around anode upon loss around cathode upon loss around anode u plus v upon u so taking the reciprocal we'll get loss around anode this is the reciprocal and total loss here is equal to t plus transference number of cations and if we take the opposite loss around cathode upon total loss then that will be the transference number of anion we start moving boundary method and this method is based on direct observation of migration of ions in the electric field so in this method this is the whole assembly of this method in this method we will take a vertical vessel tube which is filled with hydrochloric acid and cadmium chloride here you can see and hcl is acting as principal electrolyte here because we have to observe the transference number of hydrogen ions so hcl is acting as principal electrolyte while cadmium chloride is acting as indicator electrolyte which enable formation of boundary since hcl is heavier than uh, sorry cadmium chloride is heavier than hcl so hcl will, will float upon this and a clear cut visible boundary we can see here that is a a dash before starting electrolysis when we have not applied potential that time this boundary and here cathode is made up of platinum plate and at anode this anode is made up of cadmium plate or sheet so basically vertical vessel tube filled with hcl which is our principal electrolyte because we have to see the transference number or we have to observe the transference number of h plus cadmium chloride is our indicator electrolyte which basically enable formation of boundary since this is lighter so will float over here and here anode and uh, cathode and anode cathode platinum and anode so now when we start electrolysis or when we apply some potential so as potential applied the ions respective ions will move towards the respective electrode so here we have two positive ion that is h plus and cd plus and as we know the mobility of h plus is highest so when we compare the velocity or mobility of h plus and cd plus cd di positive the mobility of h plus is higher so h plus will start moving towards the cathode followed by cd di positive and one more important thing that we have to remember when we are applying this method for the determination of uh, transference number of cation that time the anion in both the electrolyte whether principal electrolyte or indicator electrolyte should be same so here cadmium chloride is following both the condition so cl will start moving towards the anode while h plus which is followed by cd plus will move towards the cathode since the speed of h plus is highest so this movement will be fast and since we filled here hcl hydrogen ions are moving towards the cathode and here they will discharge so in starting when we have not started electrolyte we have not applied potential that time boundary was here 
but after electrolysis the boundary will shift from aa dash to bb dash though this is true that cl also are moving towards the anode but the speed of cl is very very less than the mobility of h plus ion so difference in boundary that aa dash to pb dash how much solution is moving towards the cathode and this length and area will give you the volume of solution so how much volume is shifting towards the cathode that will decide the transference number or transport number of h plus ion so we calculate the volume how much volume is shifting from here to here so for that i have written everything whatever i spoke just now a sharp boundary appears between two solutions and how we will get the sharp boundary because cadmium chloride is heavier than hcl and uh, both the electrolyte should have same anion as principal electrolyte cadmium chloride fulfill both the requirement that everything i have written here when a small current is made to flow through the conductivity cell so what is ha happening that we have to see so now boundary separating two solution also move upward and if the boundary moves through the distance l that distance easily we can see how much distance uh, is traveled by boundary say aa dash to bb dash then volume of liquid that has moved up is l into a so because volume moved is equal to area of cross section of that vessel into length moved so the volume will be equal to a into l which is equal to vml so if 1000 ml solution is there then c gram equivalent of hcl is dissolved so if vml solution is there then how many gram equivalents move that we can determine with the help of this formula in vml how many gram uh, equivalent c into v upon 1000 according to faraday's law of electricity one faraday eq 1 gram equivalent is moved by 1 faraday so 1 gram equivalent moved by 1 faraday so this many gram equivalent moved by how many faraday so for that what will be the formula c into v into f upon 1000 so this many faradays are required for the movement of this much gram equivalent so if total quantity of current passed is equal to q coulomb if we have passed this much quantity of current q coulomb then fraction of total current carried by h plus ion is equal to c into v into f upon 1000 so here she, she, c into this is v l into a is equal to volume so c into l into a into f upon 1000 and this is the total quantity of current passed so t plus that is transference number of cation is equal to l into a into c into f upon 1000 into q so this is the formula for the calculation of transport number or transference number of h plus ion by moving boundary method so in this way we can calculate the transference number of h plus ion by moving boundary method so this is all about moving boundary method now these are the references Thank you.